yeah so uh welcome everyone again we're not in the curve net we're very limited to what we can actually do at the moment thanks to uh, certain restrictions but what i thought we'd do for something slightly different we're going to be participating in the not open championship so thanks to pga tour 2k21 i am unable to go over to the uk to even watch the 149th open championship but what's better than just playing it virtually talking through the course what the players are gonna have to face very tough course at Royal St George's so guys if this is not your kind of content you've got nothing to worry about I plan on doing this only probably four times a year covering the majors on PGA Tour 2K21 or whatever the current game is but if you do like this sort of stuff and you want to see more I do have a gaming channel where this sort of content goes the link is below plus of course you've got to follow us live on Twitch Alex Etches Gaming the banner is above that is one extremely handsome chap and I want to put this dude in the most ridiculous outfit possible that's that's like my cap in real life what else is in here oh that is awful my eyes are gonna bleed look mum I made it on tour and I'm sponsored by the Christmas shop down the street <laughs> can you imagine just being sat in the grandstand and this bloke rocks up on the first tee oh made it through uh, regional qualifying here he is pumpkin head <laughs> oh look we're not in the fairway. What a surprise. So unfortunately, last year's Open was victim to COVID. So defending champion now for two years has been Shane Lowry, who won obviously at Port Rush. Amazing tournament that was. So this has got a lot of living up to do Royal St. George's this year. But it usually provides entertainment. That was not bad out of that thick cack, to be honest. It'd be much worse touch look at that spin 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 greens are firm finish with a candy cane absolutely sweet as so this is, happens to be the 15th time the open has been hosted at Royal St George's the last time as you'll probably remember was Darren Clark's tournament 2011 I've just toe shanked that hadn't been in contention for 10 whole years of majors and then boom Bob's your uncle Give me that claret jug and a pint of Guinness, please, mate. Why am I eating woods out of this? This is the thing you see. You can't do that. <laughs> oh. If we had a crowd, they've, they've dispersed. So onto the first of the par threes. And they're all pretty long. There aren't any short ones. The course is made up of 12 par fours, four par threes and two par fives. All the par threes, like I say, I mean, this is 228 yards. It's probably going to play longer than that. And then you've got the wind to contend with. So it's just a pure slog fest, to be honest. All right, hybrid for the win. Love does, loves a bit of toe. Let's land this right next to the stick, though, because he's been practicing his short game, you see clearly working really well this is a shocking start guys everyone on twitch can vouch for me here it's not this bad usually so if you want to know where the voice has gone i can tell you um they happen to be euros final and england were in there but we're not going to talk about it i don't see any comments in the comment section okay it's over still very sore fourth hole toughy this little bunker here is called the Himalaya and you can see why don't go in there is what I say because you won't probably come out oh, look it's like it draw it over it it's definitely in play depending on the wind right look at that green so that little hut at the back don't know if you know but there's a lovely lady that sits there and watches She's got the best seat in the house to be honest
and she'd be laughing with a coffee after that shot for another triple it's painful this isn't it so i've got a bit of a uh, useless trivia for you bryson dechambeau top 10 uh, is the only golfer in the top 10 to not finish within the top 20 this year in a major so all eyes will be on him not sure how his ball flight's really going to match <sighs> here we'll, we'll see So the all important question is, who do you think is going to win this year? Comments down below. I've got my pick. I think Louis. I think Louis is going to be there or thereabouts this year. Oh, you tell I've changed controller, can't you? So a lot of courses, you get rid of lots of holes and you leave the bad stuff and the hard stuff behind you. It's not like this here. I can tell you that for sure. Some of the hardest holes are the last closing stretch. So 16, Thomas Bjorn is still hitting bunker shots there, apparently. That's the rumour. Um, savage bunkers, savage greens. And then the 18th, it happens to be like the third hardest hole. So even if you're a couple of shots in the lead going down the last, it's definitely not over. Bit of a push. Oh, we've hit a fairway though. Take that one. Big stick, what do you reckon? Get up, get. Lovely jubbly. Back to level par now, I've changed my controller. This is the first of him with a bit of a hosel rocket. That's just what you need. Oh my goodness. That's delightful though, tide is up. Take the par, not good enough, but we'll take it. Oh, it's beauty. So, British Open champions. The previous ones, obviously, like I said, Darren Clark, Ben Curtis, shock victory in 2003, Mr. Greg of the Norman, 1993, Sandy Lyle, 1985, Bill Rogers, 1981, and it goes all the way back to J.H. Taylor in 1894. So, for the gamers out there, um, we have, if you're on Xbox, I wish it was cross platform, but this game isn't. We try and play with as many of you as possible. And one of those things is the online society called Team Al on Xbox. We've got over 100 members now. Um, try and get up to date as much with the tournaments as possible. We've got a few people running it. It's a great little competitive laugh. And obviously, if you want more information on all of that sort of stuff, just join the Discord. All gaming, all golf, every single subject is covered in that server. I don't know what the cut's going to be this year but i can tell you right now if you're eight over through ten pack your bags is what i'm saying oh yeah but he's coming back look it don't sign this guy off just yet he's flown from lapland it's just a bit of jet lag that's wearing off and that did share with that putt here we go <laughs> another slug fest 228 yards par 3 11th Like heavy artillery firing at this, not gonna lie. That's a beauty though, that is. Candy cane for the first birdie of the day. Laser beam. Right into the teeth, this one. You see the uh, backdrop of the ocean. Oh, tell you what though. birdie would uh, do very nicely yep we'll take it take the birdie and run pal we've got to come back come back to the plane because you, you missed the cut more like <laughs> one of the shorter par three and now we come to the 18th which is going to play a huge part in this open <laughs> and a little low section in the middle called duncan's hollow we'll stay away from duncan's hollow thanks i think that's there to try and mirror that but uh, you know hopefully the wind will bring this in and it's trying its hardest 
for par to finish four over, which I think he would have taken after those first few holes. But that's a little inside of Royal St. George's. It's gonna look a lot better than that. No disrespect to the person that created this golf course. It's gonna be covered in grandstands, full of fans. It's gonna be great to see. Thanks everyone for watching. Remember, if you like this sort of stuff, I'm not gonna be doing it on this channel very often. But it's going to all be on the gaming channel and live streaming on Twitch. I stream two or three nights a week. So I'd love to see you there. And of course, guys, if you're not a part of Team Al, hit the subscribe button. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I'm live streaming on Twitch, as I've just mentioned. And come and join the best Discord server in the world, Team Al. Links are below. Thank you.